bush and uh, occasionally an insect or two and um, they tend to have males that get up on top of these boulders and defend a territory and they'll have a little harem of females associated with them. And we did find them thanks to being with a couple of guys who know what to look for. They're hard to spot without binoculars. The best way to see those is to go ahead and get a set of binoculars, sit still for a while in the morning when it's just starting to warm up and just scan the tops of the boulder piles. Sometimes you can find the chuckwallas by looking in the crevices. Um, they'll retreat in there when they see you and you might not see them, but um, before you get to the area, they may have already gone into a rock crevice such as this. Um, one of their defense mechanisms is they They'll go into the rock crevices and then they'll inflate with air so that they become securely wedged in the, in the rock and uh, predators or people can't easily extract them. There's a chuckwalla here on, the, uh, on this oh, yeah. rock pile there on the slope. When this animal gets older, its tail will become a carrot orange, a real striking orange, bright orange tail. That's uh, characteristic of the Chuckwallas on South Mountain. South Mountain's the only uh, range in Maricopa County, and in the state for that matter, that has this um, color phase of Chuckwalla with the, the black body and the orange.